Hello everyone, Justin Simmons, DKC Realty Group. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Now we are doing, woo, step four in the How to Sell a Home series. It's home staging part two. So we did part one last week, but there's a bunch of stuff because it was 10 tips. We got five done. We got five left to do today. All right, so let's get into it. First thing is major repair work. Now this topic comes up all the time. I should actually call it major repair work slash upgrading. Comes up all the time, sellers ask me this all the time. Is it worth it for me to do it? Well, let's use a general formula and you can decide if it makes the most sense for you. So our general formula is cost of the repair or upgrade, right? So we want that. We wanna know the time it takes and how much money it's going to cost us to wait that amount of time because maybe we're still paying a mortgage or homeowner's insurance taxes whatever so we add those two things up and then we're going to see if it's greater than or less than the projected increase in value we're going to receive for our home on the market after the work is done so if the repair work plus that time is going to be more than the increase in value we can expect to see after everything is done, it might not be worth the time or the money for you to do. It might be a net loss. If it's about equal, maybe, you know, it's up for you to decide. If it's greater, right, so that, that market value increase is a lot greater than the cost of the repair work and the time we spent doing it, well, then it might make sense for you to do. It all depends on your specific situation, but I don't want you to feel like, uh, we always have to fix this, or we definitely can't fix anything. All depends. Things to consider though, is um, especially when it, when it comes to upgrades, you might upgrade something to your liking. It might not be to the liking of the buyer that's ultimately gonna purchase your house or the buyers that are coming to see your house. So you gotta factor that in as well. So. My point here is for step six, that's what we're calling it, step six, point here is, is evaluate. This is why you have that real estate professional. You have your team, you have a contractor maybe that you trust or has been referred to you. They can really sit down and hash out to see if it makes sense for you to do that major repair work. Because if you can avoid it in your sale and you really gotta go someplace else soon, you wanna know that you're making the right decision, okay? Step seven, small repairs. Patchwork. This I encourage you to do. No big formula here. Hole in the wall, maybe a coat of paint, loose door handle, loose door knob, loose window, broken glass in the window, all that small stuff, fix. Right? Whatever it takes, probably not gonna cost you that much money, take that much time. Maybe you have a trusted contractor who can come in and do everything for you really quickly. That you want to get done. If you have a lot of small issues in your home, in the minds of buyers, it becomes one big thing. And it can detract significantly from your market value. So take care of it. It's gonna be a lot easier for you going forward. Step eight, I'm trying to keep count here, is remove personal photos on the wall, on the counter, wherever you place them, mantle, you wanna get rid of them. You want to give people the space to envision themselves as the new owners in the house. So you got to remove all the stuff. I know love, we love it, it's our memories, but during the sale, we want to give people the opportunity to envision themselves creating memories in the house. It's much easier to do that with a neutral blank slate, so to speak, as opposed to seeing something filled with someone else's experiences. So we want to take out, take down our personal belongings of course, we keep them, but we're not displaying them right now. Step nine. Now, I know I mentioned the paint already, but I wanted to stress it because it's very important. We want to put a coat of paint, if we need it, throughout the house. We want bright and we want neutral colors. Remember from last week, dark room, sad room. So, it doesn't have to always be white, but we want it to be bright and as neutral as possible. It feels like there's more space when it's brighter, people are in a better mood, so we want to give them that opportunity to feel that way when they're in our home. Step 10, 
put away the cleaning supplies. Justin, what are you talking about? I just did all this work. My home is spotless, beautiful. I got this track record. They don't they want to know how long I spent? But no, don't tell them that. Remember, when we're homes buying, we're in the dream stage partially. We're envisioning a great future for ourselves. It's like we're on vacation and just enjoying the moment. You know, vacation, you don't want to clean up the whole room and see what all the hard work went into it. You just want to come in and it's ready. You want to come, the food is ready. So put away the cleaning supplies. Don't make them think there's a ton of work for them to do or a ton of maintenance for them to do. Probably isn't anyway, but we just don't want to give them that sense. All right, so that was 10 tips for staging your home. Next week, step five in the How to Sell a Home series, we're finally getting ready for showings. So we're gonna talk about how we can schedule showings and handle requests and actually conduct showings. So we got a lot to go over, right? In the meantime, if you're just new to us, just starting with us, hey, there's a video up here at the beginning of the How to Sell a Home series so you can see step one. If you're interested in other content, maybe you've seen all the videos we have in this beautiful series, no problem. Check out the comments and descriptions below. There are more videos there for you. There's a mini me in the corner right there. I was wretching that I might be right around here. You can click on me, subscribe to this channel, three educational real estate videos every week. And of course the hashtag is JSBXHomes. I'm all over the socials so you can find me. Thank you so much. I look forward to talking to you soon and I hope you have a great day.